40 fucking dollars. Just wanted to give you a little insight on my little fears that I have. And uh, we're just on a walk with uh, Ruby and we're gonna go to Whole Foods today. We're gonna bring you guys with us. I love going to Whole Foods because there's a lot of awesome vegan shit that you can't get anywhere else. Well, not that I know of anyways. Are you gonna see Bowser? Where's Bowser? She knows. I want to look for these drinks that I saw on High Carb Hannah's channel. It, apparently it's her new addiction and I really want to try it because I think I'll be about that life. <laughs> that was a good exit. <laughs> One thing about Whole Foods that I don't like is the freaking snobs that come here. Don't worry, we still love each other. Even though we fight all the time. No. <laughs> Honey and trees. I went looking for like specific things that I've just seen on people's YouTube channels and I don't know if it's because we're in Canada or if the one we went to is a bit smaller but um, they didn't have really anything that I was looking for. And so. we ran into a couple assholes at the old Jesus old everyone food. is so snobby. Toronto has some of those people unfortunately yeah. but I'm sure there's those people Whatever. anywhere. Loving this YouTube thing. I just wanted to say, like, um, it's it's such a great feeling seeing the comments and and the love that we're getting. Even though it's small, it's um, you know it's something to us. For those who are commenting, we love it. We love the feedback. Um, honestly, like, it's just it's just awesome to know that uh, you know people are watching it and people are digging it. Hey guys, I just finished my workout. It's 25 minutes. Um, I think I mentioned before, but uh, it's called Sean T's T25. He's the creator of Insanity. Five days a week, 25 minutes a day, and I usually do it right after work. Do I always do it five days a week? No, sometimes I have off weeks and I do it four times. Last week I think I only did it three times. Do I feel bad about it? No, because I'm doing a lot more than I was doing only a few months ago. So. Don't beat yourself up if you have a bad week or you skip a workout. It's not the end of the world. You'll, you're still lapping everyone who's on the couch. Hey guys, hope you all had a great Monday. I know I had a way better Monday than I did last week. Last week I was in such an awful funk and I finally snapped out of it around like Thursday, Friday. I am just sitting down for dinner. I'm in bed in my pajamas, eight o'clock on a Monday. I know I'm so cool. But honestly, the second I get home when I'm done working out, I'm showered and I'm in my PJs. There's nothing better than being lazy in your PJs and eating dinner in bed. Happy December 1st, everybody. Um, I don't know if you can see, but it is extremely foggy here in Toronto. Um, it's also very mild. I think today it's gonna be a high of seven or eight. Um, super cloudy, but it's so rare to have this mild weather in December. Usually we're bundled up like from head to toe because it's so cold. But anyways, um, just walking to work now. Um, so far I am having a really great week. I really think those vitamin D3 drops are working. So if any of you are suffering from the winter blues, I suggest you get on them. My mom's midday snack. <laughs> Nice and quiet. 
the only time I ever get the house to myself is when Lisa's at her boot camp, really. Or if she goes out with her mom for some reason, but that's rare. So when she's gone, I like to do this. Woo! Hey guys, just got home from my workout class about 10 minutes ago. Um, and now I'm going to enjoy my dinner. I'm actually having the rest of my dinner from last night. We make like a one banana berry smoothie. Um, because I did eat some cabbage and sauerkraut before I went. Roll on Wednesday. Happy hump day. Hey guys, uh, I just got some really good news at work. Um, it looks like I'm gonna be taking you guys for a little quick trip to London, England. I'm going there um, in a couple weeks. We closed a deal that I've been working on and uh, yeah, really good news. But tonight, um, Lisa and I are going to a restaurant that we saw Hannah and Derek go to um, from Life in a Box. I don't know if you guys seen that vlog really great vlog but they went to a restaurant called Govinda's and they said it was really good really cheap really vegan friendly I think it's all vegetarian mostly vegan so picking up Lisa from the train station and we're gonna head out there <laughs> just took the train down from Scarborough to meet Kale in the city. We're actually going to go out for dinner to a place called Govinda's, which I'm sure he told you about. Um, it was the first time I've been on a train by myself in a while. Um, something I struggle with is uh, anxiety and pain. One of my fears is getting on trains or anything to do with like being in an enclosed area, moving at a fast speed, like anything transportation, like buses. I'm okay with cars, like people who I know who are driving, I'm fine with, but um, I don't like cabs. I don't like anything like that. Doing things that I haven't done before, like I've never taken the GO train to Union or into Toronto by myself before, so I didn't know what track to get on. I didn't know where to stand. I didn't know where to sit. And when I got out, I had no idea what way to turn and I just felt so lost and I was getting so anxious because I felt very panicky. Envision the worst things all the time. I just envision the train crashing, me dying, a fire happening, I can't escape. Literally the most ridiculous things, but these are literally fears that I live with every single day. I took the train and I faced my fear and now I feel fine because I did it and I made it into the car alive. Just wanted to give you a little insight on my little fears that I have. Let me know in the comments below if you guys have any fears or if you struggle with anything in particular. Do you like it? It's amazing. It was so good. Oh my God, oh my. Only one plate we ate. I thought I was gonna eat at least two plates because yeah. I eat like a friggin' man. It's 10 bucks a plate and I got so full. I'm bursting like, at the seams. Doubt if you have one in your area. It is so worth it. Oh, we will definitely be coming back. Oh, it yeah. was so amazing. Thank you, Govindas. Hey guys, just got to my sister's house. Um, I'm actually spending Thursday night here and Friday night as well. Probably be getting up pretty early because she has a little baby. He's only seven months old, so you know, they're up at the crack of dawn. Mom life, look at all her cloth diapers drying. 